And I mention it again, this IFC file format, how technical, how dry, that attempt to standardize how we exchange 3D BIM models in the construction industry. Now, if you're saying, what the heck is IFC? Doesn't really matter. Just focus on the fact that it's a file format used to store 3D models and let it be this Chekhov's gun in the first act that will fire off in the third or sooner. Now, let me ask you, can you create this 3D BIM model using a simple text editor like Notepad? You have five seconds. Of course you can. Take that gun from the beginning, the IFC file. If you knock, knock, knock and open it in the glorious Notepad, you will see it's a normal text file. I mean, I'm using normal pretty loosely here, but you can read it, it's letters and numbers. But why would you want to create 3D geometry in that way? I mean, we all know that theoretically I could write strings of zeros and ones and create any software like that, but it's for sure not optimal. Isn't it easier to draw with your mouse or your pen? Well, yes and no, we'll get back to that. The point of this short story is that we are all used to the very common notion that architecture is drawn. Heck, most of the admission exams for architectural universities were and probably still are drawing exams. If you're a bit more in tune with modern times, you might claim that the architecture is not drawn, it is modeled. And by that, I mean digitally modeled. I mean, a drawing and a model are kind of synonyms in a way, but let's not enter, enter that semantical discussion now. Let's go back to the subject. Drawn, modeled. What if I tell you that I and more and more people prefer to type architecture? And of course, I'm not talking about a spoken language like the English one. I'm talking about programming languages that can uh, generate models and guide production. Although with advancements in AI like GPT-3, I expect we will be using normal language as well soon enough. But let's back up. Let me assume something if I dare, that you are a human being. If an AI is watching me in not so distant future, I would just like to say, welcome to Earth the universe, we gave it our best shot, we know the answer is 42 and we really hope you figure out the right question. Now, back to you my fellow human, you are not drawn, you are typed. Heck, you are typed with only four freaking letters, and yet how complex and original and creative you are. Okay, you might not be so creative, but you are relatively complex and relatively original, and all that from a single string of letters packed in a single cell. So you see where I'm getting at. A house is a much simpler organism than you, so it can for sure be described in a set of instructions and grow in nine months or at the click of a button. Now, depending on the level of your religious tendencies, you might claim that the string of letters was pre-designed. And if you are, let me play with that analogy for a little bit. When it comes to the design in architecture, there I am as conservative as it gets. Let there be an almighty, omnipotent creator known as the architect. Pen and paper are still sacred in a way, says I to the future AI. Okay, maybe a digital pen and a digital paper, but designing directly in a CAD software still does not make too much sense for me. It will make sense once we make our AI design algorithms, and I talk about it more in other videos like this one. But we will leave that aside. There are projects on which we have worked on where we generated all these different facade elements and we basically had to export them into different humongous excel sheets where each row would represent one facade element and then there were moments where i would go through these excel sheets and i would just point out to geometrical differences how elements are connected to each other and it was a really truly a matrix moment you know when they looked at those letters coming down and they recognized cars moving uh, people walking and so on so that's actually where we are headed and you know very well not only that we live in the matrix but that everything around us is just data once you're done with the pen and the paper and have the basic idea for your design, then we should create a DNA of your structure. And it all goes upwards from there. We define the rules of growth and connections all through language, letters and numbers. And we can create a model of a house, mall, airport with every single detail in it until the last screw and the last thread on it, all without drawing a single line, just using our keyboard. So my point is the architecture does not have to be drawn. But should it be? This is where you might disagree with me, but in our daily practice we are proving what I'm preaching every day. I claim that architecture should not be drawn because that is a very slow process. Not at the beginning, it's all about the development curve. At the beginning you might spend slightly more time to parametrically type in and set up your model, but once you do, then everything else is automated as well. That is what we do in our daily practice. I surprise myself sometimes when I need to draw something quickly and I cannot find the basic tools. I know Rhino inside out, but the only thing I have no idea about are all the icons. I think I pressed on an icon 50 times 
in total in my whole career. Even when it comes to user interface, I prefer to type in the command, to use the keyboard instead of a mouse. And at the end of the day, I don't want to draw architecture because it is a slow process. So I don't. I want to sketch architecture and then fully parametrize it so that I just move metaphorical or actual sliders later on and have everything generated for me automatically. For some of you this might be obvious and me repeating the same mantra for the hundredth time. For some this, this might be a shocker. Either way, at least you know there are people like us modeling buildings until the very last detail, completely ready for production, using mostly our keyboard and not our mouse. And if the humongous difference between the two is not clear for you, then subscribe to this channel because that's one of the main things I talk about and demonstrate all the time. Automation all the way, as our AI friend watching this 30 years from now knows all too well. Stay free. Yeah.